All right, guys, we're out here at the range. I have a few different buckshot that I want to uh, go ahead and pattern through the trusty TS-12. I have the uh, AMG UH-1 on here that I just got back from uh, Vortex. More on that a little bit later. All right, what we have here uh, for G1 is going to be a federal buckshot, 1325 uh, feet per second. It's nine pellet buckshot. Uh, on the middle G2 target, we're going to put some Wolf double op buck, nine pellet. Now again, it's uh, 1325 feet per second. Nothing special, run of the mill uh, buckshot. And on G3, what we got here is a tactical 2021. Uh, I don't think it's expired yet, but you know, with a name like tactical, it's going to put the, put the pedal to the metal, you know what I mean? Uh, plus, it's got 25 feet per second on the other two. It's tactical. If I had 25 cents for every time I heard the word tactical, we'd all be rich, you know what I mean? And then finally, what we have here is the mini mini buckshot. Now this is a may or may not run in the TS-12, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a one, two, three battery. <laughs> All right, so we're down here. We have our volunteers. Uh, they've been groomed to be safe, efficient uh, targets. Um, let's, go, let's go ahead and meet them. So we're down here with the G1 target. Uh, you notice he's wearing a mask outdoors in the open air. Um, G1, do you feel safe wearing the mask? Go ahead and uh, blink if you feel safe. All right, now that we got that movie magic out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get started and seeing where this uh, prints on these uh, groomer targets. Thank you. Whenever you have a chance to do a repetition, a reload from each position, whatever, even if it's like a laid back day where you're trying to sight something in, go ahead and take that time to do that rep in there. Don't be a Neanderthal rummaging through it like a cereal box or something. Uh, just food for thought. All right, so this will be a G1 Federal 9 pellet double lot buck from five yards. So that was the circle right in the middle, and you'll notice that it's slightly down just a little bit. All right, we have the G1 target. It has a small little group here. This is the Federal Buckshot. Now I did use a uh, improved cylinder choke, which uh, is kind of the best of both worlds, I guess, shooting slugs and uh, buckshot, well, cheaper buckshot through it. Since, uh, you know, if you have the high dollar stuff, see what it does in a cylinder bore, because it might, might prove pretty good for you. All right, so this will be the Wolf nine pellet buckshot at five yards. I'm gonna go ahead and do my rep, because I'm not damn dirty old eight. All right, we got G2. Uh, he's got a small little pattern right here. It's probably the small, smallest. This was the Wolf nine pellet buckshot. So uh, we'll see if that opens up, how much it opens up when we start going back. This will back. be the tactical 2021 nine pellet buck going a whopping 1350 feet per second. All right, G3 here, this uh, sassy guy. Yeah, this is the tactical 2021 nine pellet buck, 1350 feet per second. All right, but does that mask make you feel safe? You're getting a little sassy. You're gonna wanna see what we do to him later on today. Back here at the 10 yard line, when I put the reticle on the uh, circle down there, it's an IDPA target. I noticed the 65 MOA uh, reticle is exactly the same size, pretty much. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle and see where it patterns with each one of the uh, targets. So we have G1 here with the Federal, and it has a nice little pattern here. 
right here in the middle. It's uh, still smaller than my hand. A little bit bigger than the fist at 10 yards. So uh, aiming with the reticle right here in the middle, it put it right over there. It's just opening up, uh, I would say probably inch and a half, I would say overall. With the wolf, we're getting a little, it's opening up a little bit more. So uh, we got a hand-sized print here on the wolf at 10 yards. The tactical 2021 at uh, 1350 feet per second. That's fast. It's 25 feet per second faster than the other two. Well, anyway, so we got a nice big square here. This was me, I shot low. I think it was the trigger. So I, that's that's on me. We'll see what, what happens there. <clears throat> but it's right here. Let's get on back to 15 yards and see how that compares. All right, looking through the reticle, uh, it, the 65 MOA takes up pretty much the C zone on the target across. So um, let's just shoot in the middle, see where it patterns, and see if uh, this is this ammo, this particular ammo, is good for this range and getting all the pellets on the intended target. All right, so let's start off with the Federal. And the tactical 1350 feet per second, 2021. All right, let's go check out. All right, so with the Federal Walmart buckshot, so we had to have a nice tight pattern here for 15 yards. All right, so that's doable. It's about the size of an open hand there. Let's go on to the Wolf of Wall Street. So this pattern opened up tremendously. Uh, it almost got him in the mask. Now, I, I'd hate to see what happens if, oh goodness. So, all right, and again with the Tactical 21, uh, we have a nice big lung size thing right here, but they all stayed in there. So relatively, it's, it's the size of the hand as well. All right. You feel safe right now, but just wait. All right, so now we're gonna move to like 20, 25 yards. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get pellet strikes off the target, but we wanna see where the failure point is. And if in that case, do you really want to use that and send it down range? So, because it may most likely hit something that you do not intend to hit but uh, you still need to know what it is that you're putting in your arsenal. All right, so we got Federal, we got the Tactical, and the Woof. All right, let's get comfy. All right, back up here from the 25 yard line, we got federal nine pellet butt, and it's all on paper. In a pattern like that. And if this guy was standing still, you had uh, got him. So for the uh, wolf, it seemed like everything was in there. We got this right here, this big slice of pizza, but it's mainly in the zone that you would want it to be in. So that was good. So that's from 25 yards. So you never know what's gonna happen. It's like a box of chocolates around here. But now here with the tactical 2021, with all the bells and whistles, with the 1350 feet per second. So you, you have, so I could hardly count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, but it didn't make it through the mask. Can you believe that? They were right. So 
it makes sense you know uh, uh, like a 32 caliber you know uh, pellet is bigger than a virus right so it it didn't make it through the mask go figure all right so earlier today uh, g3 he, he got a little sassy with me all right and it kind of hurt my feelings and out here in the open area i don't have a safe space so you know he stood here and he took everything that i gave him up to now he took one in the eye but nothing got through his mask those fibers are woven so tight that, you know, small little things can't weave and get in there. You know, of course, it's going to stop something bigger than a virus, right? Uh, so I digress. So we're going to show this guy that sometimes a feel-good measure to, of protection is just not enough against unadulterated, pure, brutal violence. One of the nice things about that Vortex AMG is the reticle, how it's laid out, has a nice big triangle there for reference. So when you're uh, put against your mechanical offset up pretty up close, now you can have this big triangle there indicating where, where you, should, you want the round to go. So uh, let's, let's put it up here and shoot a slug <clears throat> and buckshot and uh, see what it looks like on a headshot of uh, this close. All right, so that was right, right in the middle. Uh, let's see what it looks like with buckshot. So I think these masks may have a shelf life because this one's not holding up nearly as well as the other guy. Um, so what, let's look at his hole here. You're gonna take this off, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. There you go, all right. All right, so <clears throat> slug, wad went right through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine all in this little uh, head circle with the triangle right there. So that's a nice nice little thing about the reticle. You can do it with the EOTech too, but uh, this gives you a lot more input and it's bigger and faster. So early on when I first put the uh, Vortex AMG uh, UH1, it's the version two. When I first put it on these uh, guns, um, I had an issue with them. A draining battery when it was when it was off so uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that it wasn't something that I was doing so I let it go redid tested and all that so I did my uh, due diligence before I got a hold of vortex now when I did get a hold of vortex um, let me tell you they were on it so either they knew about the issue or their customer service is that good where they want to uh, make sure everything is right and they took care of it. I had two uh, sites, sent them in, RM sent. It was, it was easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. And uh, it, I had it back within, I would say a week, week and a half. And now they're working perfect. So I am totally happy. Vortex, good job. So thank you very much for taking the time, watching this video all the way through. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Let's grow this channel together. I very much enjoy coming out here and making this stuff and uh, hopefully get a, a smile out of you. Always remember that the bad guys are out there practicing being bad, practice being good. Love you. God bless. See you on the next one. Later, Gator.